job that I have out of the army now is I created my own photography business and I talked a little bit about that in the last video. Um, it has been like a dream of mine for a really long time to own my own like media company. So I thought, you know, I could teach myself stuff pretty quickly, but it, as it turns out, it takes a long time to like teach yourself, especially when you're full time, you know, working in the army or really doing anything. Um, so I really feel like I didn't figure out and obviously I don't know everything I just want to put that out there I'm still learning so much but I do feel like I've learned a lot and like my technical skills have gotten a lot better um, in the last year because I've been able to like step away from um, the old career that I was doing and then stepping into this new career and then as I've gotten out I've just put 110% of my energy into it um, and it's been really cool and I think one thing I'm finding out about life is that when things feel astronomically difficult, like when you feel like you're constantly fighting an uphill battle, trying to get something that you think that you want, it might not be, it might not be right for you. And that is a hard pill to swallow. And some people probably disagree with that, but I think um, in my experience, the things that kind of feel easy and um, feel like you're just riding a wave in the right direction like that that's where you should be and that's where you should be putting your time and energy and like anything to do with art and um, just kind of anything to do with having my own business and doing my own thing has always felt so much more oh, that's a good word for it it's always felt so much more streamlined to me and especially now like I moved here in February into Virginia Beach and then you know within like two or three months I started working with like some of my dream clients as far as like the sports media side goes and yes it's lucky I'm not saying that like like I deserve this or whatever but I'm just saying that like sometimes when you just follow that like inkling that you have that seems like it's pulling you a certain direction um, it's for a reason and um, I do kind of believe in like the powers of the universe and and things happening for a reason and I know not everybody believes that but call it what you want you know I feel like I just followed the path I'm supposed to be on and, and things are just kind of like falling into place so with all that being said I just I wanted to give an intro because this video is kind of like marking my first like adventure into uh, doing this full-time and um, I'm not making nearly as much as I was when I was an army officer, but that's okay. And I'm, I'm happy doing this. So this whole video is just kind of like a couple days in my life, um, shooting and then editing. So, uh, it's usually a couple day process. So with, uh, the gym that I work at, um, we usually film on Mondays and then I'll edit, um, Tuesdays and then put out a reel on Wednesday and then I'll start editing a video, like a YouTube video for them on probably like Tuesday night, Wednesday, and then I'll try to put the YouTube video out for them on Friday. And then I just put out photos like periodically throughout the week too, um, for their like Instagram page and stuff like that. So I'm starting to get like a little rhythm in for them and it's been really fun. This video specifically is a athlete camp that they had where they had some like really big name CrossFitters come. Um, and they're still there pretty much for the rest of the summer. And it's been really cool, like capturing them and all that. Um, yeah, so that is what you're about to see. Okay, I'm getting ready to go film um, some athletes at CrossFit Krypton. They're doing a athlete camp. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. And Laura Horvath is gonna be there. Um, Christoph Horvath, her brother, Gabby Magala, uh, Ben Smith, it's his gym, it's CrossFit Krypton, um, Alex Smith, and then a bunch of other cool people, including my roommate, who's super fit. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of getting my equipment together, and this always gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> outside, right? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. They're kind of awful about sharing, like, 
what the workout's going to be. Yeah. Because I was, like, debating on bringing my drone or not. Debating on bringing what? My drone. No, she's fine. It's a kitten. It's driving me crazy. Salem, get out of there. He was, oh, I was eating my breakfast. This is my first time using this, and I'm really nervous because it's a little complicated. But if I can figure it out, I feel like it will make the vlogs look really cool. And also, filming athletes is so much easier when you don't have to worry about like picking up your tripod. Oh my god. <laughs> Freaking crazy cat. Pick up your tripod or um, trying to like keep it steady and stuff because obviously CrossFit athletes are constantly moving. So I think once we figure it out, it'll be really good. Um, oh my God, he's crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to remember if I'm forgetting anything. There's so much crap I have to bring. Oh man, bring all my lenses, my drone I'm gonna bring just in case. Um, oh my god. This kitten, fuck. This kitten is psycho. Ow. Hey, let's go sit on Appa. Why don't you sit there? Starts to eat window. <laughs> getting ready to go. Or we are going. I'm getting ready to go. We are going to the gym.